I don't know. I don't hate it. I don't love it. Yoga. Good morning, guys. Happy Friday. Man, it's pretty early. Well, it's early for me right now. Um, I had to get up early because today is my second NST appointment. Um, and they only had an 8.30, so I'm here. It's 8 o'clock. I'm actually going to go in early. They took me really quick, and they were really excited that I was so early last time. So I'm going to um, go in early today, too. Last night, I did not sleep well. Like, I don't usually have like a ton of issues sleeping like I wake up a lot to go pee like literally every single time I need to like turn over I have to pee because my I mean the baby is so heavy on my bladder and I can't really rest if my bladder's full not well but last night like this is the second time that this has happened where I felt like not that I couldn't breathe but I don't know if I was just like panicking like having like a little bit of an anxiety attack of some sort because my breaths were short so it was kind of like freaking me out so this rhinitis situation it like affects like my throat and like the coughing and like the last couple days the coughing has been really bad and like there's like a tickle in my throat and the tickle was just really bad last night it was just uh so annoying but then I ended up um, having to like lay in like a child's pose if like a yoga child's pose I had to do that for a little while and that helped a lot and then I was able to lay back down But yeah last night was not really the best night's sleep, but it feels good to be out I wish it didn't take so much energy to like leave the house like it takes so much energy to leave the house for me because um, it does feel good to be out and about with some fresh air and like that's one thing when um, Jace gets here, like we're gonna have to go on a lot of walks. Morning walks, because I can't, like I don't wanna be, I don't like necessarily being in the house all the time. I like to at least get out and like go for a walk or like usually I would go work out or you know, whatever. So I'm gonna have to make it a point. I'm really excited to have more energy and things so that I can do those things a lot easier. But, now I'm about to get in here. Um, I'm gonna get in here, get this appointment done. It shouldn't take too long, but then I have to see a doctor. Last time it was like only 20 minutes and that was it, it was super fast. This time it's gonna be 20 minutes, but then I have to see the doctor afterwards, which never takes long. Unless there's gonna be an issue, which I hope there's not. I feel fine other than, you know, the like regular symptoms. But either way, it's gonna be a good day. It's gonna be a rainy day, which I kind of am inviting. Cause I'm just feeling just really tired so I don't mind the rain today so I really need to order groceries that's a big thing my fruit I've been eating a lot of like junk food like a lot of like donuts from my favorite donut place and brownies like the last couple weeks I've done way too much of that so I just need to get back all my fruit because the fruit is just way more satisfying anyway but also I just feel kind of so yes anywho I'll see you in there. Ooh, he's moving a lot. Okay, doctor appointment went great. Everything was awesome. Jace was doing somersault. He was really quiet this morning. And then when they put the straps on, as you saw, he's, I mean, he, I don't know if you could tell, but he was doing somersaults in there. <laughs> and then once I was done and got into, like, to talk to the doctor, um, he, she said that she thinks he's sleeping. <laughs> so he was like doing somersaults while I was doing the NST and then he just went to sleep, which was so funny. But everything's good. She says she wants me to do that every single week until I go into labor. So, um, yeah, which I don't mind. It's not a big deal. It's only a few weeks, really. 
So on the way home, I decided I wanted to get, because I don't have a lot of food. I'm actually nervous to order my groceries. I'm not going to the grocery store. It's not happening. I'm, I don't have the energy. But yesterday when Kaylee was ringing me up, I buzzed her in because she has to ring the doorbell and I have to buzz her in to get in. And the door wouldn't open, so I had to go like downstairs, which I know it doesn't sound like a big deal, but I'm telling you, like... I have zero energy. So the thought of having to go downstairs and lug up all those groceries. <sighs> oh my gosh. And it sounds so lazy, but I just don't have the energy to do it. But I need stuff. Like I need my fruit. I need to order some things. So I might have to just suck it up and do that. For now, I decided to order breakfast from my favorite place, which I love this place. It's called the Original Pancake House here in Indy, and they have the best, I'm not a big pancake person, honestly, they have the best pancakes. Oh my gosh, I love their pancakes. But they also have, in my opinion, the best corned beef hash. Um, I don't know if you, if some of you have ever even heard of corned beef hash, but when I was little, we used to get corned beef, I used to get corned beef hash all the time at Walker Brothers in Chicago. And this is the closest thing to Walker Brothers in Chicago. It, to me, it tastes the same. So, it looks gross, but it is absolutely delicious. It's just corned beef hash and then eggs over easy on top. And I'm excited to eat it because I haven't eaten yet this morning. Then I'm gonna place my order for groceries. I'm gonna finally cover these couches. And then I don't know what else I have the energy to do today because even my doctor was just like, I said, she asked me if I had any concerns and I said, no, I'm just exhausted. I feel like staying awake is like impossible. And she was like, yep, yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> She said, uh, this is the point where, like, between 28 weeks, and now you hit a brick wall, and then, like, it's so hard to even stay awake. And I was like, okay, well, I'm glad that's normal, because, like, literally, I could sleep all day, every day. And she, she told me that that was normal, so that made me feel better. But anywho, I am going to eat my breakfast. Ah, ice water? I don't know what it is. It is, like, the best thing in the world. Alright, I'll check in with you guys later. Good morning. Happy Saturday. I know I'm wearing the same shirt. I know. Today, I feel so much better. Yesterday, I did, I don't, did I vlog at all yesterday? I don't even remember. I don't remember if I vlogged yesterday, but I was really tired. I spent most of the day in bed yesterday. Just reading and that's pretty much it. I watched some TV, I read, and I slept. And that's all I did. But I feel so much better today. I have a lot more energy today. Which I don't know where it came from, but I receive it in Jesus' name, okay? Because this exhaustion, I don't, I don't enjoy it. <clears throat> but I feel much better. I got up, I had a call, um, and then I ran a couple errands, dropped off some planners um, at the post office. If you guys haven't gotten your planners yet then um, here, the link will be in the description box for you to get yours and don't forget the code six month mind shift for discounted shipping on the planners only so that is that i ordered groceries from sam's usually from sam's i like to order produce because their produce is so much better so i got some a few things from sam's i'm about to place another order from walmart for like other little thing like miscellaneous things that I don't want to get at Sam's, like cat food and just like little things um, that they don't have at Sam's. Oh, I, I opened, so I thought I carried up my couch covers. Oh, I hope they don't scratch them up. I didn't even think about that. Ugh. But yesterday I was planning on putting the couch covers on the couches. Then I opened the box and it was more gifts from you guys. So thank you. Um, let me get them. This is so... Cute. I saw this on Instagram actually and I was like this is the cutest funniest little thing ever it's a little cactus thing so like if the baby is crying and I turn this on it'll like imitate the baby so it'll stop the baby from crying like <laughs> if the baby's crying for no reason and then part of that order also was these different pacifiers that I saw from Ryan and Rose which were really cute um, and it's like I guess there are different 
tips because I didn't realize that there were different types of pacifiers and apparently not all babies like the same type of pacifier which I did not realize so um, that was on my list as well so Maxime thank you so much I really appreciate your gifts um, and I, I do have more on the way I saw so I will be thanking you guys along the way I really appreciate it um, but I got these slip covers for my couches I really love the color for one and I love that I can take it off to wash and it looks really easy so I'm praying that they fit I'm gonna do this one first this is the for the big the bigger couch the three cushions but I'm gonna try this out see how it goes especially since I just shampooed the couches they're nice and clean right now so I want to be able to preserve that because these little munchkins, right, Barcos? Hi. Hi, big girl. Hi, Barcos. Hi. So yeah, that's what I'm about to do right now. I did put some stuff in the baby's room away. Finally, um, because I have a good amount of energy today, I'm gonna take advantage of it. So I'm going to um, do some stuff. I'm gonna put these couch covers on. I'm just going to do as much as I can while I have the energy before I crash. So let's do it. nice it just looks a little lumpy just because the couch is so like cushy but I guess it's I mean it's fine I mean it's not like I have a lot of people over and stuff but I think more than anything the purpose for this for me is to be able to control the cat hair a little bit better so when the cats lay on the couch I can easily just pop them off throw them in the washer and pop them back on especially because like if I do happen to have guests at some point, then I could either just rewash the covers, pop them back on, or I can just take the cover off and there'll be no cat hair. So I don't I don't I just don't like when my guests get loaded with cat hair because like I said, it's hard to control the cat hair, especially with three three cats. Um so it is nice to have that option. So yeah, I think I'm I think I'm happy. I like the color a lot. I definitely like the color. Like one thing I definitely need to do before I have this baby is paint this mirror. So I need to I need to take it down, I need to sand it, I need to spray paint it, and I need to put it back up, but I need help. So if Jason's coming over today, I think maybe I'll ask him to help me take it down so I can at least start it. That's something that will make a huge difference in here too, but I do love this color. I do love this color, but I didn't necessarily want a couch that color because 
Um, obviously, that's something that would get dirty very easily, especially with a baby. So this way, um, it looks like even if somebody spilled something, like it would still leak through. Um, either way, it'll just make it easier to clean the cushions or the couch or whatever. So good times. So I'm about to do this other couch here. I'm going to do that. And then we'll see what's next on the list. keep them I like it it's, it brightens up the space too I mean there are little areas where it doesn't fit quite well but I just have to adjust and play with it but and I need to wash those pillows so bad um but I like it so if you're looking for some good um cushion or couch covers I will link them for you but they're really nice like they're really stretchy um, soft like the material is really really nice really really soft so I think I'm a fan so that's that now I need to sit down for a second actually you know what I'm not gonna sit down for a second I'm good I need to put these groceries away before I get too tired because that is the most important thing that I need to do so let me do that let me show you what I got all right so the first thing I got some greens the last time I ordered greens, I did not even open it, so shame on me. But I still have my dressing here, so I'm going to have a nice salad today. I did try to get a rotisserie chicken from Sam's because they have the best rotisserie chicken. Um, but they were out, which is very strange, especially in the morning. They make them, I thought, every day, but I mean, with the way everything is now, it's like, even the grocery stores need to go to the grocery store half the time now, so I guess it is what it is. I got some broccoli florets, some Hawaiian rolls, because I've been really loving these. I mean, who doesn't love these? I mean, come on, you know? I got some turkey bacon. I've been eating a lot of bacon lately, but... Like, I'm getting to the point to where, like, I've been eating so much, like, savory food and, like, allowing myself to have pretty much whatever I want. And I have been moderate. I mean, I, I just, I don't have, like, the largest appetite during this pregnancy, which is interesting, but I have moments. So I know I'm going to have to, like, kind of, like, once the baby gets here, I'm going to have to pull back a little bit. But I think by the time that comes, I'll be ready to kind of be more mindful about what I'm eating. I got some of this pasta because I don't eat a lot of pasta normally but I've been eating a lot of pasta pregnant so this looked really good because I actually wanted to order pasta yesterday but I stopped myself because I just I need to stop eating like ordering out I would rather order and spend the same amount for like more that will last me days instead of having one serving so I got this Zatarain's black and chicken alfredo you know lots of processed stuff I don't feel like cooking so I got some chicken salad and this I will take for work a lot this week um, and probably next week. I ordered strawberries, but they were out. So he replaced it with blueberries, which I love. So that works. And I've been most obsessed with grapes. Oops, I almost dropped those. So I got two big things of grapes so that I can snack on those instead of all the crap. I've been eating a lot of like donuts and things and it's really not even close to as satisfying for me right now, or probably in general, it's not as satisfying. Um, so I haven't had fruit. Last week I didn't order fruit, 
So I'm glad that I have that. I'm about to clean those and put them in containers now so that I can um, just snack on those when I get a craving for something sweet. And I think that's it. I also ordered, well my doctor suggested that I get on some iron pills, which the whole ice thing, a lot of you were like, oh, when you crave ice, like it's usually a sign of an iron deficiency. So she actually brought it up because I actually am close to borderline anemic. Like I'm, like I'm in the clear range, but I'm like close to being borderline. So she did recommend me getting some iron supplements. So I ordered some gummies, which are actually pretty tasty. I just have to get stuff that I know that I'm gonna like want to eat. So I have um, these, she said to take these in the morning and then take my prenatals in the evening along with vitamin C, which I have been taking already. Um, these are so good. Actually, these are really good too, but these are so good. I'll link these if you guys wanna try them, but I got them on Amazon along with my prenatals, their gummies also. And they're just so much, it's so much easier to remember when you enjoy the way it tastes. So I've been taking these daily along with my prenatals and now I'm adding these in. So yeah, now I'm about to uh, wash my veggie or wash my fruit, get them in containers or like, yeah, containers, clean up a little bit and yeah, see what else I can get done while I have this energy. Oh my gosh, I have got so much done, you guys. I'm so happy for this little burst of energy. Whew, but my body is like, okay, girl, you got to slow down because my back is really starting to hurt and walking is becoming a little painful. So it's time to stop. But what I did so far in here, I replaced that. So I put that, that was over here. So I put the mannequin here and then put one of the smaller nightstand thingies there instead. And then I had this huge printer that I really don't want to get rid of, one, because it was so expensive, but two, because it has like a scanner on it also, which it comes in handy. And I wanted to keep that. So I decided to take the nightstand that was over by the couch and put it here instead, which will be better for storage anyway, and then put the printer on top of it works out great. I love the couch covers. It brightens up the entire space and I really love the energy. I still have a bunch of stuff to do but I just gotta chill because I'm, I'm really tired and I need to eat. But Jason's supposed to be coming over to swap cars finally. Um, I decided I wanted my car back. I just miss it. So I'm gonna have him lug a bunch of stuff down for me which I know he hates when I ask him to do that, but there's just no way I can do it. There's just no way I can do it. So I'm gonna ask him to do it for me when he gets here. So hopefully that is soon, so I can get it out of here. But right now I'm about to eat. Sparkles has been joining me, right girl? Hey, Bucky's. I put that Zatarain's chicken Alfredo in the oven. It smells really good. So here's that. Yum, yum. And I'm going to have that with some Hawaiian bread and then maybe a little salad on the side or something. But I just need to eat a little something. I'm getting a little nauseous. And I think it's time to stop as much as I want to keep going because I'm on a roll. Oh, but I got a lot done. I got the baby's room kind of cleared out. I didn't like organize anything, but I put things in places that they're going to be. And then I was able to break down the boxes, get rid of the gift bags, things like that. So it looks much better in there. So I'm on a good pace. I am on a good pace. So hopefully I'll be able to have a little bit of energy tomorrow. And if not tomorrow, then hopefully I'll have some more energy next week. Because all I've been wanting to do is sleep. Like I haven't had any energy, so it feels good to be able to like get going. So anywho, let me eat, uh, chill out for a little bit, and yeah. Check in with you guys later.